Welcome to Kai Beam Music. Thanks for joining me and enjoy the show. Hello and welcome to my podcast. I am Kai Beam and this is Kai Beam Music. Thank you very much for tuning in for the first introductory episode. Tuning in. Wow, that's an old radio term. They say podcasts are like on-demand radio. Anyway, um, you're going to notice this kind of a thing a lot as we move forward in my podcast. As a language instructor, I constantly analyze everything that everybody says, including myself. So, uh, quirk number one, welcome to the show, and um, I hope that you enjoy uh, listening to someone who constantly uh, finds interesting quirks in what he says and analyzes them, because that's part of my personality. So anyway, welcome to the show. This podcast is all about my music and my sharing it with you through anecdotes, through my stories. I want to let you know how I came to love music, specifically music theory. And I I don't want to go into a lot of detail in this podcast on music theory. There are lots of great resources online for you to learn about music theory, but I will occasionally be referencing some techniques and some things about music theory in uh, in a, an attempt to basically help you to get more familiar with my style of playing and how I use the information I've learned in my playing. So, I'll mention that um, this episode's title, Battling Perfectionism, is basically what it says. Um, For years, as many creatives are, I have been a perfectionist. And um, for those of you who don't know what a perfectionist is, well, a perfectionist, glad you asked, is a person who can't leave well enough alone. It's a person who tries to make something good, gets to a certain point where it probably is okay, and then just keeps picking and picking and picking at it and doesn't stop. And because of this, for years, actually, I didn't even record any of my music because I thought, no, 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 I I don't have good enough equipment, I'm not skilled enough, I don't have the techniques. I invented a tremendous amount of excuses. In fact, um, if you have checked out my YouTube channel, I had a series of YouTube videos, just very short, just a couple of them, I think five of them, where I was kind of doing the same thing on video as an attempt to break up perfectionism in myself. There's a fun thing, I've heard of a few other people doing it, and I thought it would be fun. It's um, an unofficial day of the year, celebratory day, called Piano Day. Now, what is Piano Day? Well, I'm glad you asked that too. It's the 88th day of the year. A traditional piano, upright or grand, has 88 keys. So counting from the very first day of the year, on most years, piano day, or the 88th day of the year, is, in fact, March 29th. On leap year, it's one day off, but uh, usually it's March 29th. So I recorded a video, and I just improvised a piece of music. And I thought that I would be done with perfectionism because I've done this YouTube channel thing and I've gotten comfortable being on camera. Turns out I wasn't, actually. I still am battling with this issue. And the purpose of this podcast is not only to help me to get past perfectionism, but hopefully to share something of value with you. So I've noticed that When I can drop my guard and quit trying to pick at details and make everything perfect, or my warped view of what perfect is, um, a lot of fun can be had by me and by other people who enjoy listening to my piano music. So the format of the podcast for right now is I'm going to talk a little bit, maybe 10 to 15 minutes, to... uh, welcome you to the show and discuss the topic like I did today. And then I'm going to play for you a piece of music. And when I say play the music, I'm, at least for right now, I'm not playing these things live. I actually played them, I recorded them before. But these pieces of music that I play for you on the show are essentially unedited. The volume has been brought up 
and a little bit has been done to enhance the sound quality, but I haven't gone back inside of the Digital Audio Workstation, or DAW, and made any tweaks or any changes to the notes. I just played freestyle on all of the pieces of music that I'll be sharing with you on this show. So let's take a listen to what I call Piano Day 2021, this improvised piece. It's a little longer than three minutes. And after the piece, I'll come back and talk a little bit about the ideas and the feelings that I had as I was improvising and playing that piece of music. Enjoy. So there you have it. And just to show you how spontaneous I'm trying to be with this podcast, I am, as I record this episode, reconsidering the format of the podcast. Because what I was originally going to do was do the intro, play the piano piece for you, and then come back and talk for the rest of the episode. But I have a different idea, and I want to get your feedback. From this very first full episode, I want to know what you think of the this idea. So um, I'll tell you how to get in touch with me later and share your thoughts. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the piece again and offer you kind of a running commentary of my feelings as I was playing it. So the first time through, you got to experience it without me rambling or talking at all. Now I'm going to play it again and describe to you my thoughts and maybe a little bit of music theory as we go along. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So as it starts here, it's basically in a minor mode. This is called the 
Aeolian mode. And basically it's kind of a sad, just uh, traditionally what you'd think of as, as a sad song type sound to it. As I recall, I was feeling a struggle when I started this piece. And there's a little bit of major, a little bit of kind of happiness in here, some determination, some accomplishment. And then there's this weird kind of wanting to go somewhere else. You notice this part right here doesn't really fit with the earlier part. It's like it, it wants to go somewhere beyond where it has been. This is just a very simple da 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 Just a kind of a simple way to kind of flutter above the current emotion. I realized after I played that I kind of borrowed this melody from another piece that's a favorite of mine. And you'll notice the big chords kind of get dramatic here. Quite often when I'm improvising and I get to these parts where I slow down and I give a lot of room for the piece to breathe, I'm deciding where to go. Now notice this right here, just a simple little riff that repeats and builds. This is basically in Ionian mode, so this is what people normally think of as the major scale. So it became kind of happy, triumphant, and now it gets very quiet. Very pensive. Is it pensive or pensative? Very reflective. Thinking about where we've been, this is important and significant. And Wow, think about all those things that have happened. That's the kind of feel that I had when I was playing this part. And here, rising out of that, to one of my favorite ways to end a piece of music. This is called the Lydian. It's basically just a major scale with a, with a raised fourth. It provides this sense of euphoria or kind of longing. So, I hope you enjoyed this first full episode of Kai Beam Music. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, please try to keep your criticism constructive if you have it for me. And I want this to be a conversation. I'd like to hear what you thought of the piece when you first heard it versus with my running commentary. Do you like the running commentary or would you prefer to just hear it once and um, come to your own conclusions on it? So uh, any thoughts, suggestions, questions, feel free to email me. That's the preferred method of contact I'm using right now. And I look forward to joining you again in two weeks. I'm right now planning to do an episode every two weeks. We'll see how that goes. And um, until then. Did you enjoy the show? Do you have any questions or comments for me? If so, please send me an email at kaibeammusic at gmail.com. That's C-A-I-B-E-A-M. M-U-S-I-C at gmail.com. Until next time, keep the music playing. <laughs>